Smart Tempo brings powerful new tempo analysis capabilities to Logic 10.4. We can freely record audio without a click and have it conform to the project tempo or have the project tempo conform to the freely played audio. There's a lot more you can do and check out Logic 10.4 Explained at Groove 3 to get the full picture of Smart Tempo and all the other new features in Logic 10.4. But for now, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration to get you started on what the possibilities are. Now, to start with, if you don't want to use Smart Tempo and you just want the old pre-Logic 10.4 behavior, all you need to do is go into your project settings and there's a new tab here for Smart Tempo. And if you set Project Tempo Mode to Keep and both of these to Off, you'll have the old behavior. But for now, what I want to do is record some wild shaker, and I mean wild with no click reference. I'm going to leave this in keep, but I'm going to set this for new recordings to align to bars and beats. And what's going to happen now is when I record without a click, let me turn this off, it'll take my shaker part and conform it to this tempo of 120, which is the default. So I'm going to make this a mono track, record enable it, and I'm going to record some freely played shaker. going to hit stop and I'm being prompted to open up the new file tempo editor and that allows us to edit the smart tempo analysis but I'm going to ignore it for now and let's just listen back I'm going to take this out of record enable mode and let's listen back with the click and you'll hear that it'll be in sync with the project tempo How cool is that? And I can change the tempo and it'll follow it. Due to the new flex and follow modes. Let's delete this for the moment and let's look at the adapt mode. Now I can change it here to adapt or I can go back to my project settings and change it there. And regardless of where you change it, it'll update in either place. And if you're going into adapt mode for the first time, it'll automatically open the tempo track. Let's do that here. And I'm just going to hit global and there's the tempo track. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to freely record some shaker. And instead of adapting to the project tempo, it's going to analyze my performance and create a tempo map to follow it. I'm being prompted with the same dialog box asking me if I want to open the file tempo editor to edit the analysis, and I won't for now. Let's just enlarge this, and we'll see that it's automatically calculated a tempo map. So let's listen back with the click. So how cool is that? It's calculated the tempo of my performance and created a tempo map, but that's not the end of adapt mode. I can now move or copy or edit it and the tempo will follow. For example, if I option drag it, it's copied. I'm going to delete that and it's removed. I'll just move it and that works the same too. And let's say I want to trim this to a nice neat loop, maybe four bars like that. I'll trim it there, hit the loop button and voila. So the idea is now that I've established an initial recording that I want to work with. I can now switch back to keep mode and then all my subsequent recordings will follow the tempo of my original performance. Or with my new flex and follow modes, I can maybe create a new tempo set and round this off to an even tempo. It was around 88 or so. Maybe I want to go down to somewhere around there and work at one consistent tempo. So ladies and gentlemen, that's an introduction to Smart Tempo. To learn more about this and the other 10.4 features, check out Logic 10.4 Explained at www.groove3.com.